Look what I found at a garage sale. A beautiful brown red swilled Bakelite box with a scale and a handle and in a beige leather case. Both the seller and myself didn't know what it was, so I bought it for the beautiful box. Try and error taught me that it was a kind of continuity checker or high voltage generator. The writing says 500 volts mega, made by Evershed and Vignol in England and distributed by Nichols in Canada. The handle obviously was driving a dynamo and the needle went either to zero or infinity on the scale which is calibrated in ohms depending on whether I connected or disconnected two wires that I had plugged in before on the sides of the box. Here is uh, infinity. Now I make a short circuit. get zero, independent of how fast I turn the handle. Finally, I connected my multimeter to the two wires. And measured a voltage with it. which was in fact more than 500 volts DC depending on how fast I turn the handle. I then easily found this schematics on the web. The tester contains a handwritten generator, a so-called dynamo, that generates a 1000 volt AC voltage to be rectified and connected to two coils a deflection coil, which is in fact a pico ampere meter coil, and a control coil replacing the spring of a conventional ampere meter. The deflection coil will be in series with the resistor under test. The instrument measures the ratio of the currents in the two coils, which depends only on the value of the resistance under test, since variations in the voltage generated due to varying handle speeds affect both coils and cancel out. We therefore have a true ohmmeter in the kilo to multi mega ohm range, but what cannot be done with any other type of ohmmeter is resistance measurements at hundreds of even thousands of volts, typical for insulation problems. This 500 volt mega is not only a continuity checker, but it is a very quantitative ohmmeter and even capacity checker. So let's see, this is infinity. Infinity. This is short circuit. This is a 220 kilo ohm resistor. And you see, it's independent on how fast I turn it. Very constant, 200 something okay. mega ohm, a kilo ohm. This is a one mega ohm resistor. Here we have a 56, what is that? 56 mega. Here we have an old capacitor. Let's see. Should be infinity. It's not, it's a leaking, leaking condenser. Now, even electrolytic, electrolytic condensers can be checked too.
perfect. The needle goes up and doesn't come down. This is good insulation. This this is okay. Now let's take another one here. This one is leaky. This one is leaky. Okay, so that mega works perfectly. It's beautiful and is for sale. Thank you.